Vocational aim of education has laid stress on practical aspects of education. To be more specific, it has given importance on training in some vocation or craft so that a person can earn his own living in future life. The aim of education is gaining more and more popularity with the advancement of science and technology and changing socio-economic structure of the world. Vocationalization is an important slogan of modern democratic education and it is believed that without a proper emphasis on vocational aspect of education, those who merely go to school suffer all their lives. We must understand the points why vocational aim of education is getting important in the present times. Vocational education makes one economically self-sufficient. Self-sufficiency is a great source of satisfaction and strength. Economic self-sufficiency is the first characteristic of social efficiency. Vocational education strikes a balance between economic and individual progress. It prepares students for a useful life and useful occupation. In the words of Gandhiji, true education ought to be a kind of insurance against unemployment. Vocational aim of education reduces the impact of verbalism and mere intellectual domination. Modern educationists have supported the idea of vocational education. Rousseau and Gandhiji were great supporters of the aim of education. Gandhiji introduced craft-centered education as a part of his basic education scheme. Vocational aim gives purpose to educational activity. It is based on the simple principle of psychology that a child learns more efficiently when he is engaged in purposeful activity which appeals to his instincts and interests stimulates his observations and arouses his thoughts and feelings. Therefore, the Indian Education Commission of 1964-66 has recommended the inclusion of work experience in the secondary school curriculum. Children having lower intelligence can be benefited by vocational education. Such children are a great disadvantage when taught academic subjects. Vocational training can help them towards being self-sufficient and thereby they can lead a respectful adult life. Vocational education is essential to bridge the gap between the upper and lower classes of the society. In India, the education of the upper classes have been purely literary till recent years and vocational education was meant for the poor and laboring class. Gandhiji who proved through experimentation that vocational education has rich potentialities for intellectual development if performed intelligently said that it ultimately leads to harmonious development of body mind and soul finally vocational education develops the concept of dignity of labor among the students every work whether big or small has its own importance now let us discuss the grounds on which vocational aim of education has been criticized firstly Educationists have termed vocational aim as a narrow aim of education on the ground that it has given importance on mere earning of one's livelihood and that has reduced it to just bread and butter aim. Secondly, earning of livelihood is no doubt a very important part of human endeavor, but that is not all. Man has to develop physically, mentally, morally and spiritually. If education is reduced to mere vocational training alone, it will remain halfway for complete living. Thirdly. Purely vocational education will make our outlook narrow. It may produce good mechanics, electricians, doctors and engineers, but not good human beings. Aims of education in a democracy We all know that democracy is the most accepted form of government in the modern world. From a political point of view, democratic government is based on the will of the people. The famous words of Abraham Lincoln, Democracy is the government of the people by the people and for the people. But democracy is not only a method of political administration but also a social system. The ideal of democracy is to establish a democratic way of life. In a democratic way of life, every individual is important and gets equal opportunity for his all-round development. Here we have to develop a system of education which will pave the way for developing democratic values of life and at the same time an educational policy that may reflect the hopes and aspirations, socio-economic and cultural needs, and expectations of the people. Thus, you can say that democracy and education are functionally related to each other and one cannot go without the other. Now India is a democratic nation. 
Our constitution represents the combined operations of all Indians and what national aims and objectives should guide Indian education is a vital question for our consideration. Our government has set up three major education commissions after independence to identify the major national objectives of Indian education. Secondary Education Commission has decided some aims of education by analyzing the educational needs of Indian democracy. Let us try to understand the aims suggested by Secondary Education Commission. Education for Democratic Citizenship It should be the aim of education to train all students to develop qualities which are of great importance to discharge their duties as a democratic citizen. A question may arise in our mind as to what these qualities are. The answer is, it involves many intellectual, social and moral qualities like capacity for clear thinking, receptivity to new ideals, scientific attitude of mind to think objectively, ability to take decisions on important subjects, and also respect for individuality, sharing differences of opinions, being cooperative and collective decision making etc. The system of education therefore must be to develop intellectual awakening and free thinking in children so that they can analyze situation and take decisions independently. Education for the art of living We know that man is a social creature and in a democracy every individual is important. Therefore, individual has to be trained in the art of living a community life. We must be able to realize the progress of the society is possible only by mutual cooperation of people for the sake of our own welfare, we should not behave in a selfish way and try to get support of others. Development of virtues like tolerance is necessary for mutual goodwill. These virtues should be developed through education. Development of sense of true patriotism is another important aim where education has to play a very prominent and vital role by organizing some workshops on the issues of state and national topics and also celebrating anniversaries in memory of the great men of the nation. According to the Secondary Education Commission, narrow nationalism is very dangerous. Therefore, the social customs and traditions of the nations are to be analyzed objectively. The students ought to be taught that they are not only the citizens of the country but also of one world so that they should be prepared to discharge responsibilities to the world also in the words of the commission in a very real sense therefore patriotism is not enough and it must be supplemented by a living realization of the fact that we are all members of the one world and must be prepared mentally and emotionally to discharge the responsibilities which such memberships implies Development of Vocational Efficiency Success of democracy depends upon its efficient citizens. Vocational training is necessary in order to make everybody sufficient. Vocational training is necessary in order to make everybody efficient in his own field of work. Development of the country is possible only through promoting technical skills and efficiency. There should be diversification of courses at the secondary stage so that more and more students may take up agriculture technical, commercial and practical courses according to their own interests and aptitudes. Development of Personality We have mentioned earlier that in a democracy, the personality of every individual has got its own importance and developing the personality and education is the most important factor for the all-round development of a person. There was a time when more attention was paid to intellectual development than to physical development in schools. But now the aims of education include moral, intellectual and other aspects of a personality. Therefore, subjects like art, crafts, music and dance are included in the secondary school curriculum along with national discipline scheme and national carrot crops, etc. for physical development. Education for leadership. Leadership through education means leadership in all fields like science, literature, art, culture, etc. A leader must possess the virtues like tolerance, wisdom, understanding, discipline and justice. Training for leadership is necessary for the development of these qualities and a suitable system of education can provide such training. Moral and spiritual aim Meaning Philosophers of education have always considered character foundation or morality as one of the most important objectives of education. Only a man of good moral character can rise above narrow-mindedness, individual benefits, anger, fear and miserliness. Moral qualities like tolerance, 
truthfulness, honesty, sincerity, justice, fellow feeling, freedom, self-control and forgiveness promote the social efficiency of the individual. Thus, morality is a very comprehensive term which includes aims of education like the intellectual and aesthetic and the social. Need of education for character or morality. In the words of Sri Radhakrishnan, the troubles of the whole world including India are due to the fact that education has become a more intellectual exercise and not the acquisition of moral and spiritual values at present when normal and social values are disintegrating. When religion is rising, it holds. When power and knowledge are being misused for vested interest. When nations do not trust one another. When black marketing, barbarism, indiscipline, violence are fast spreading. It is essential that education for character or morality should be important. The political tension at the present time is mainly due to the fact that knowledge has increased but morality has lagged behind. Morality in the form of truth, righteousness and non-violence is the only balm which can heal the wounds of humanity. It is education for morality or character which would impel man to utilize atomic energy for the betterment of humanity rather than for its destruction. It is task of education to preach and practice morality as a faith and ideal as morality is the greatest unifying force in life. Spiritual aim of education The idealist and Indian philosophers contend that the sole aim of education is to develop the spiritual side of an individual. The advocates of this aim believe that education should aim at the maximum development of spiritual potentialities of man. Spiritual development gives real strength to human soul and mind. Matter is subservient to soul. Need importance of education for spirituality. Betterment of world depends upon spiritual education. Spiritual education will eradicate the present ills of the world. It will raise man to a high level by making him a man of character, honesty and integrity. It will be helpful in resolving conflicts and tensions. It will make him cooperative, humble, broad-minded, tolerant, enlightened, progressive and peace-loving. It will provide the basis of true humanitarianism. It will encourage the policy of live and let live and love the humanity. It will replace hatred with love, selfishness and self-sacrifice and violence in non-violence. In short, spiritual education will cause happiness, order and contentment in the world by cultivating faith in truth, beauty and goodness.